Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ballistic Hoppy Boy here. I'm doing my first audio review for No Filter HD. So, hope everyone uh, is okay with that. Let me know down in comments what you think, if the microphone sounds okay. Uh, it's my first time using this with OBS, so I'm not sure how it's going to sound. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I meant to put this out earlier. We had a huge work emergency, and I couldn't do it until now. So I just now got home. So <laughs> I was sitting at work trapped, and I couldn't move, and I was looking at everyone else's reviews of this game, and I was just, uh, it's killing me, you know? So this is going to be my review for Yars Recharged, which came out today on August 23rd, 2022, for all systems. I am playing it here on the Atari VCS because I'm a huge Atari geek, um, as, as part for the course, right, for me. <laughs> so, um, so uh, but I definitely don't begrudge anyone playing this any other system. Um, so play it on the system you like. So we're going to go down here and we're going to buy this puppy. Um, now, I did see E. King, my good friend, friend E. King, uh, play this earlier on a stream. And I was just extremely jealous that uh, <laughs> that uh, he was playing it, and was, he was able to give his uh, views on it and his opinions, and uh, I could. So let's go ahead, and now I'm going to block this. So let me make sure it's correct. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. One time I used the wrong card and my rent didn't go, my mortgage didn't go through and I was like, what the hell? So I am so excited to play this game. Um, now the original uh, game, Yara's Revenge, came out in 82 when I was like seven years old. Now I never played it when I was a kid. <clears throat> We didn't have Yars. Um, did I say Yars Revenge? Yes. <laughs> um, I didn't play Yars Revenge as a kid because we didn't have it. I, I we had Steeplechase, which is a serious game. But uh, we had Pac-Man, Enduro, Cubert, a few others, and those to this day those are some of my top favorite twenty six. But I do really like Yars Revenge. I know it's a divisive title. I know some people don't like it. Usually those are people that are a little younger than me. I'm in my mid-40s. Most people that don't like Yars Revenge, typically, I find, are five-plus years younger than me. Probably just because they grew up in a different, you know, different time with better graphics. And, you know, uh, but for the time, you guys, this was the game. So, uh, this is sequel uh, to that game which was 40 years ago can you believe it Insane. so I'm so excited to play this game it was put out by uh, Adam Vision and Sneaky Box and uh, Atari so <laughs> I'm glad there's a tutorial because I haven't played this yet this is my first time playing as I said so I'm gonna move around the map here the front shield. I had to do that yet. Oh! So the controls are a little bit like uh, Black Widow, I see. Okay, very nice. Collect the orbs. Get closer to Nibble and destroy the rest of the shield. Don't know why it's not firing. Get those, it's okay. Go inside the Zorlon cannon. Shoot the Zorlon cannon. Go tile core. You are safe and you are standing in the glitch shield, but it will protect you from the deadly squirrel of Go tile core. Okay. 
follow the arrows to exit the level. Get the hell out of here. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in. Now I know my friend uh, Ethan King was trying to get 60,000 points. Probably not gonna happen on my first go round, but uh, I just wanted to see what I can get here. Let's go straight into arcade mode. Single player. Uh, let's just play, okay. I don't think I can do anything else just yet. There's Hyper, Hunger, and Heavy Cannon. Later, I guess. So, so you can auto-fire, which is nice. I like that. So they are going to shoot at you. Okay. So I think what I saw earlier, you just need to create a little area for the Zorlon Cannon thingy to go through. From my understanding. So let's go ahead and try to get that. Okay. So far, I have to say, I really love the art style of the game. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Okay, let's go into Zorlon Cannon. Okay, so... <laughs> You really do have to aim on that, so it doesn't just, uh, doesn't just seem obvious. Let's try to knock out one of these, okay? Oh, wow, so you do get power up just like the other charge game. Very nice. Let's try to get some of that crap before I go in level hole here. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. But so far, I'm liking this a lot. Um, if you can hear the sound on it, um, it sounds pretty great. I mean, it sounds like artillery fire, but uh, I can tell it's got some background sound that I can't hear right now as I'm playing. But uh, yeah, really cool. Um, e King was just saying this might become my third favorite Atari DPS game. I can definitely see why. Uh, my top favorite is probably BTM Boy and uh, also Tempest 3000. Let's go in here. Whoa. So I can definitely see some of the. Uh, Influences from the original yard of the. I mean, uh, the little the shots that the dude in the middle give out uh, looks just like the original game. Sorry, I'm not flaking right now. I've had a long day. <laughs> Get back in our little door on cannon. Okay. Yeah, see that little shot he gives out there? It's just like the original game. That's really cool. I love how this game is so different than the original, but there are some influences definitely from the original, I can tell. So, as a Atari group you know. Get back on our little cannon over here. Now, I don't know if these things, if, if my Zorlon cannon shot hits one of theirs, I wonder if I get blocked or whatnot, I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, really cool. I'm liking it. Yeah, oh, and um, Rapid Power Recharge is another favorite of mine. Uh, Rapid Power Recharge and Tempest 3000 are probably tied for third place right now for me. Uh, but yeah, this, this might be a contender for first, second place. BPM Boy is amazing. That's never gonna, you know, it's never gonna take that spot, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, this is probably shaping up to be one of the best recharge games so far. This is really fun. There we go. I'm really satisfying about that. Really cool game. Definitely worth 9.99. Uh, 
um, on any system you get it on, it's, you know, it's working great on the VTS. Um, I don't see any lags or anything. All you naysayers out there. Um, yeah, someone mentioned earlier in East King Street, that's kind of reminded them of Geometry Wars a little bit. Um, I haven't played that game in so long. I mean, it does look very geometrical, you know, how it's laid out. But I don't know if it's like the game or not. It's been so long since I've played it. So you can knock these out just by shooting them. Gotta use no cannon for that. Shooters and um, 
It is kind of a puzzler too, as uh, Eighteen was saying earlier. I can see that. See that. This would be a great two-player game as well. Um, I can't wait to try that out. Maybe my friend Adam can come over soon. Okay. Yeah, right in the kisser. Awesome. Look at that. Man, look at my score. 23,000 almost. So let me try to get as far as I can before I stop my screen here. I love how the puzzles are, or each, each level is so different. You know, it's, that is neat. Definitely adds a level of uh, difficulty to it. Knock this one out here. There we go. That way they can't keep shooting me. Man, that was a wait. <laughs> I need to be shooting this guy. But I do want to knock these out. That way they can't combine and yeah. See how they're combining and getting me. Oh, that one is too. Upgrade. Get our upgrade there. Man, those those white shells are hard to kill right there. Yeah, it's totally different game than the original guys. This is way I think this is way more fun. Um definitely. Definitely more engaging and modern, right? Than uh, Old Yard's Revenge. Although that's a fantastic game that started, you know. A revolution, really. This is this is amazing. Yeah, let's try to knock out some of that. Okay, I'm gonna have to. That guy's not gonna go easily, is he? So I can see if we get behind it, and it might be easier to knock him out. There you go. Definitely easier. Big problem. Yeah, yeah, these levels get way more tough, uh -huh. obviously, if you go along. Uh, need to try to get this barrier out here so I can get to him. So I think I'm going to let this go about 30 minutes. Um, just FYI, I'm at the 18 minute mark here. If you're watching. I've got some errands to run. I've been trapped at work all day. We had an emergency and I had to... I was going to take today off to run some errands and do this, this review or a stream, my first, um, earlier, and I just didn't have time to do it. I had to go to work. But it's, you know, COVID-related, so um, I work in the healthcare field, so I really couldn't say no, right? I mean, I could, but I'd be like a big dick, right? Oh, man. That'd shoot me from behind. Gonna knock this guy out. He's a bastard. There we go. Now I might be able to do something. Let's see. Oh, but he's halfway there. He's not much left around him, doesn't he? Oh. So when you pick up the little gold thing, that makes it to where the cannon appears, okay? Oh shit. Okay, let's go over here to the cannon. Oh man. Awesome. 
that whenever he shot out his little thing at me, it stopped the, it stopped the first cannon shot. Good to know. Wow, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> there is a little opening right here. That is cool. Okay. Let's try to get... Guy taken out. Yeah. And this is loving this game. Just in just 20 minutes of playing it. How many times have I said that? Okay. So they're combining forces to Okay. I need to start getting these guys. They're gonna kill me. Yeah, the uh, shooting mechanic is very much like uh Black Widow. But it's a uh, much I do agree with Easy King, it's a much better game than Black Widow. Had a lot more I think it's more fun. I don't know why, but it has a good more fun. Black Black Widow Recharge can be punishing. Uh, I mean uh this seems like it's oh man. Ah so I got 29,030 points. That's, I'm sorry, 30,430. That's pretty dang good. Got some achievements down here. Man, that is great. Wow. Shields destroyed, Silarak cores destroyed, Hotel cores destroyed. I think that's how you say that. Health bonus. So this is my first game and my best. Um, 30,430 points. Got some achievements down here. Very cool. So I'm interested to know, guys, what you think about this game. I mean, I'm, I'm just freaking floored by it. It's pretty great. Um, we got missions. So it looks like I unlocked the grinding thrust mission, the layered core mission, the bullet injection mission, and there's a lot more to unlock, which is nice. There's also multiplayer ones you can unlock. Let's look at the achievements. I got, I completed the arcade mode. No, I'm sorry. I uh, got the Oracle, completed a level without use, without losing a life. That's nice. I got the weapon. I destroyed the swirl. I got the Apollo achievement. I reached 10,000 score in arcade. And I got the Dionysus uh, achievement. I reached 20,000 score in arcade. Now I got to 30,000, but I don't see I don't see an achievement for that. But anyway, so we got the achievements, we got settings, we got graphics, screen shake, and colorblind. We got audio. Okay, that stuff's all at 80%. Gameplay. We got some invert X and Y vibration, which is on for the controller, vibration strength. The controller does vibrate, by the way. Very nice. Make a note of that, people. Uh, credits. I like to show the credits in these because, uh, man, this game is amazing. So, based on the classic game Yard's Revenge by Howard Scott Warshaw, freaking amazing programmer, developer, man, he's great. So, he created the original Yard's Revenge and as well as Saboteur, one of my favorites. He made E.T. and I believe um, Raiders of the Lost Ark and some others. Music by Megan McDuffie. Um, she's freaking phenomenal. What do you guys think? So we got the staff here at Adam Vision Studios and Sneaky Bot. Yeah, this game has pretty much blown me away. I, I it's it's fantastic. So let me know down below what you think of this game. If you purchased it, if you plan to, um, if you if it's anything like the original. Um, I do see some of the art design from the original, as I said, whenever Yar sh shoots at you. Um, the ray shoots at you is just like the original game. Uh, everything else, man, <laughs> seems seems brand new. But uh, yeah, great game. Definitely give it an A plus right now. Um, of course, this is my just my first playthrough, so um, yeah. People did a great job. Looks like they're all in. Uh, Reese or something. I don't know what kinds of names those are. <laughs> um, yeah. There's old Wade. So yeah, uh, fantastic. 
Loving this game. So I do plan to do more reviews like this with my voice. Uh, let me know what you think about that, as I said, if the audio is good. I've seen so many YouTube videos on this microphone on how to adjust the audio, and I just don't know what to believe at this point. So I just kept it on the first the first video I saw, this dude suggested I set it up the way I have it now, so. Wait, let me know what you think. Let me go back. So yeah. Phenomenal game. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in for my uh, No Filter HD Special Edition for Yars Recharged on launch day. This is my launch day exclusive and first look. Man, this is an A-plus for sure so far. I mean, uh, just amazing. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Have a good day. BCB here. Bye.